guys, I am heading to a call where the X13 blower has met its untimely death after seven years in service. It lasted longer than most of them. And the homeowner has decided to just replace it with an old style three-speed uh, permanent split capacitor motor. So I'm gonna go over there and switch those out and rewire it up and take you guys along for the ride. Here is our Tempstar Air Handler, Tempstar Ohio Carrier, whatever you want to call it, Payne, Bryant, blah, blah, blah. Here it is. We're going to be taking the blower out. It's hard to see. X13 blower, put in a PSC. One thing to remember about these motors is that they have capacitors inside those modules mounted to the end of the motor. And after you shut the power off, those capacitors still retain a little bit of a charge for a while. So that's why it says to wait five minutes before you open it up because you can get zapped and you will remember it if it happens. All right, there's our old X13 blower sitting, being much more useful as a prop than as a blower. So right now it's serving its greatest purpose that it has left. The new blower is in. Three speed Century Aerosmith, whatever they're called now. There it is, it's in place. But I had a little bit of a hiccup. It wasn't not too bad. It looks like my blade puller right there, if you guys can see it, it's kind of hard to see on here. A little bit of a cross thread, and that thing's pretty much shredded. So this thing is now junk. Just get another one of those. Maybe I'll upgrade to the hub puller extreme. Uh, but everything's ready to go. I'm gonna slide it back in and we'll go ahead and wire things up. All right, we have our motor mounted in place. I've already checked it out. How to switch it down to low speed to get the proper air flow. Just because high speed was blowing the grills off the ceiling almost. There's our capacitor just mounted to the outside with my custom bracket, aka metal hanging strap. I have a, let's see, single pole, normally open, relay on top. And what I did is I took the same speed tap that went to the X13 motor and used that as the hot for that relay and the common just comes off the transformer, 24 volts, and then we just break our speed tap wire through that relay and then the common, which is yellow, passes directly to the motor off the transformer. So everything works well and even utilizes the same equipment that was already here as far as circuitry, circuit boards. Uh, so we're good to go. I'm going to button it back up, turn it on, and happy day.